Total Rugby recently visited the English seaside town of Folkestone. Not like so many other visitors to enjoy the late summer sunshine. We were in search of an international rugby team getting ready for the most important match of their lives. It's fantastic. It's my first time in the UK and I really like it here, especially as I've come with my national team. It's been great so far and it is only getting better. Everybody has treated the team so well and I've never played at such a high level before. I've learned so much from playing here and I will continue to do so. Rugby has been played in Estonia for about 10 years, but the International Federation has only been active for several months, thanks mainly to an expat Englishman who looked abroad for inspiration. We've just really, just uh, right, rather than reinvent the wheel, just try and take pieces of unions that works well and then try and adapt it to the Estonian way. And uh, it's been quite successful. I mean, we're, we're, we are almost, almost there with, with everything, with the constitution, with the law translations and with the... Uh, the, the exposure of the game and uh, I think all we need now really is just time and effort and, and it will, will come to fruition. Six new teams quickly formed but the Estonian climate means the window for playing rugby is small so the national side looked further afield. This is their first overseas tour and it proved an epic journey just to get to England. There are 22 of us all together and we travelled in three small minibuses to get here. We had a nice long 40 hour journey all across Europe. We drove through our neighbours, Latvia and Lithuania, then through Poland, Germany and France. And then we finally took the ferry across the English Channel. So yeah, 40 hours. <laughs> Playing in Folkestone has special significance. It was the local club's chairman who first took an interest in Estonian rugby and who over the years has worked tirelessly to ensure that the game in Estonia has had a chance to grow. Everybody was very, very keen. We had a guy from Wales Rugby Union, he took out kit there. We had a guy from Leicester Tigers, who is Tarvi, who was their assistant coach today. And they gave us all the impetus that we needed and we found money and we found kit and we kept them alive and now we're going to make them thrive. There are two types of players. John Kitson got in touch with Rose Tanner, organiser of the world famous Rosland Park School Sevens, who helped to make the tour possible. They are so keen, they are so dedicated, they just don't know what they're doing at the moment. Um, hopefully with a bit of luck, you know, in a few years time, a bit like Romania was. I mean, they're now forced to be reckoned with in the, on the world rugby stage, and hopefully Estonia will be too. Their opponents were the England deaf team. It's the first time the deaf side have played a full hearing team, and for the Estonians, it's certainly a step up in class from their usual opposition. England's superior set-piece skills caused the Estonians problems, but elsewhere the visitors were giving a good account of themselves and were certainly not overawed by the occasion. England built a sizeable lead, but in the second half, Estonia's superior fitness began to show and two quick tries brought them within five points with time running out. Although that was as close as they got, the match allowed the Estonians to show what could be achieved given time and support. Their opponents were suitably impressed. Estonia are a really good, seemed a really good level. I thought I didn't know they would be that good because they're a developing team. I was surprised with them. Yeah, I think they've got a good future in rugby. Well, they definitely have a good future in rugby. A return fixture has already been organised and hopefully the future will bring more tours like this as Estonia look to make their mark on the world of rugby. Brilliant game, a really good match. I'm so proud of the team, it's our first game at this level and we came so close to winning. I thought we were a bit unlucky but there is room for development and we must learn from our experiences. But yes, a very good game and I'm so proud of everyone.